Hey guys, it's Ralph Greenwood here, and looky what I got. I got a 100 ton, this is a lifelike Louisville, Nashville, 100 ton hopper. Now there's a guy out there, and his channel name is Dave's Trains. And he's got one just like this. And we're going to make some changes to it. We're going to take a closer look at it here in a minute. But I saw a video of Dave's where he had one just, he has one exactly like this. And um, if you can see, it rides a little high. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to have a link to, to Dave's video. It is update number 21. It's a recent video. So, if you haven't seen his video, go and check out that video. Check out Dave's channel. He models the Louisville and Nashville. Um, I'm thinking that his era is in the 70s somewhere from the looks of what he has rolling there. We're going to update this tonight on the car barn. Here's another lifelike hopper. This is a two bay. But we can see the difference here now. Yes, I'm sure a two bay would have a different um, height. Now I did go and I went online and I looked at some dimensions of of three bay hoppers like this, the 100 ton three bay hopper. And one of the measurements that I got was three feet and four and seven eighths inches. That, and that was from the top of the track. That was from the top of the track to the bottom of the, to the bottom of the sill here, like the bottom of this, okay? So I took three feet four and seven eighths inches. I actually round that up to five inches. So then that was, that ended up being 30, three feet, your three feet would be 36 inches plus five inches it would be 41 inches. And when you put that down to end scale, it came out to around a quarter inch. Right here's 250. So see that does sit, it does sit a little high. And, and here's one more test. If you're thinking about um, body-mounted couplers, okay, it, it's a tad, it's, it's high. And um, what you would have to do, well, what I would do, take and if you were going to do body-mounted couplers, one way you could do it, you could put a flat piece down in here so that it would cover this end. Um, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and get these trucks off of here and uh, I'll show you more on that. Okay, here's a closer look. This car, I, I bought it off of eBay and it has it looks like it has two or three different types of wheels on it. Plus, see this end? There's a pin in there. You see that right in there. It's broke off. The other one on the other side is okay. Okay, now we're going to take these, get these trucks off of here. I removed the trucks. Now, this is at the end that's broken, but this is the other one, and see, see that, and see that, this is, it's not, it's only like floating in the center on this pin mount right here, and I'm going to try to get this off, if, if it's glued, then I'm going to have to just cut it, but, um, Again, what I'm talking about is let's say that you would uh, 
you would want to put a plate right in here of thin plastic and then your body mount coupler you could use the kit for body mounted couplers that microtrains makes and mount a body mount coupler there but then you still might have to shim it okay guys <clears throat> now you see these this mounting post here and this mount down here these are the only support points that is some of the reason why these are susceptible to warping because they're only in the center otherwise it's kind of floating I showed you in the earlier clip how it rocked back and forth now we're trying to lower this and you can look and you can see you should be able to see that okay if I hold it like this this side here is lower than this side and that's because I took a chisel point like this and I just gradually very slowly just peeled away at this just take your time and just kind of peeled off and then I took a look at it and then you take a look at it from this angle and make sure that you've got it that it's not all that it's fairly uh, level okay so you can see I've got the one side done and this frame Now these pins that go in there, they ended up breaking off. I can fit that in there. I can fit that right there. And you can see that those are laying. These are all down. These, these, I will glue these down in here. Because I haven't done this end yet. And I'm thinking I've about got this where I want it. I think I might have to go just a little bit lower on this side. And these should glue. These two points should glue down but if this was stored and it was like laying on its side that's one way it could warp if it got very warm just that little bit of pressure on this plastic would make it warp so okay I'm gonna continue working on this working on this one side right here I'm gonna take this down just a tad more I've got both of these both of these support points I've got them down and the frame looks pretty much looks pretty much straight across there was a little bit of a high point in here there was some flash sticking out but if I take and glue this down and I've got one, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got ten glue points here. And I'm going to glue this and clamp it. I'm just eyeballing it. Now, if I've got it too low, I can always use some of the washers that Microtrain supplies. To even it up it, it looks pretty good to me here it is guys I got it all clamped up and uh, I just finger tightened the c-clamp I didn't overdo it but it's all clamped up and uh, we're just gonna let it sit overnight well guys 
we're going to see if my plan worked here. Couple little shiny spots here. I'll have to scrape them off. We'll get some trucks on this and see what we got. Now we'll be using um, micro trains in scale. These are barber roller bearing trucks with the medium extension. These are assembled. The long number is 0030243, and the short number is 1024. And these come with your truck units. You've got the wheels and the, the coupler boxes fully assembled. And there's a set of um, different bolster pins and plastic washers and different adapters here. And the ones we're going to use are these right here. These are the ones we're going to try. I got that. That did lower it some. And you can see that it lines up with this other two bay hopper pretty good. But one thing I want to do, I've got my I've got my caliper here at 250. Set it straight on the track. I'm real close to that. I'm real close to that four feet. It's pretty close. Okay. Then for your body mounted couplers. We're actually a little low. You could use a couple of washers here or if, if you had trucks without couplers here, okay, and you were gonna put your body mounts on, I think they would still fit. Our coupler is, our coupler's pretty good. Our coupler height's pretty good. All right, guys. <clears throat> I did. Now, remember I showed you in the last clip. I had this on the track, and I ran it up, and it was a little low. Okay. I took these trucks off, and I put a washer on top between the truck and the body and it raised it up to where it's real close. Um, but if you do this kind of thing, I probably should have um, gone a little slower in shaving down these mounting points. But this car here is going to work fine for me because I don't use... The only thing I put body mount couplers is is on my cabooses and my locomotives, and I do have some... Um, I have some, some old Pullman heavyweight passenger cars that I'm going to make into camp cars. Those will probably have uh, body-mounted couplers, but most of mine are truck-mounted. Um, now, another thing you can do, microtrains, they make replacement steps, okay? For hopper cars and things like that and it's and then it would have these two steps on it and then there's a piece that goes across and you can glue it in there you can glue it in there and it goes across right there so if you wanted to do body mount then you could either pass your screw through that and have a piece of plastic on the other side that is threaded so that your screw holds that holds that coupler box on I don't have any couple of boxes right now or I'd show you. But that's one way you can do it besides putting in a piece of plastic here. Yeah. At the other, and then at the other end, you would have your, your brake detail. You might have to do something with that. I don't know. But for me, I think just shaving it down so much and then using your truck mounted couplers would work. But... You know, you're going to do what you want to do. So, that's the car barn. That's uh, doing these couple of changes. Um, I might do, I think I'm going to do um, something about that. I'm going to get this thing weighted because it isn't weighted right. 
And I had a question from another YouTuber about um, having cars like this that were like, if you had an empty gondola or if you had an empty hopper and how to weight it. Because it's real easy to put a load in here and weight it. It's a little more complicated when it comes to try to put the weight on the underside of this. So that'll be my next endeavor. So you guys take it easy. We'll see you later. Keep it on the rails, all that good stuff. You guys have a good day. Thanks. Bye.